morning everybody we're here in Lindsay Nebraska about to load up a whole bunch of random stuff by the looks of it there's some pipe there's some crates maybe some tires I was told I have no idea it's I haven't seen it yet I don't care what it is throw it on my trailer I'll tie it down we're going to Prince Edward Island with it that's a four-day drive from here we're not gonna be quite back into Canada tonight yet we're gonna get close we'll probably get into Michigan somewhere hopefully and tomorrow we'll cross at Sarnia, Ontario. I had the choice of either crossing from Detroit into Windsor or from Port Huron into Sarnia today. I chose Sarnia because it's a quieter border crossing. Detroit and Windsor is the busiest border crossing between Canada and the United States. Lots of trucks. I think over a, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I wanna say there's a billion dollars of trade that crosses over that bridge and into the, back and forth every day. I'm pretty sure it's a big one. So it's very busy. Sarnia is a little quieter. It's north of there. Still busy, but not as busy. I chose to cross there. So we're going to cross there tomorrow. We're going to go up through Toronto, past Montreal, past Quebec City, all the way up and over through New Brunswick, over the top of Maine, through New Brunswick, into Prince Edward Island, across Confederation Bridge, which used to be the longest bridge in the world. I forget how long it is. Uh, there's longer ones built already now, but at one point it was the longest one on the planet. So it's a pretty long one. I think I have to pay to get out. I think it's free to get into PEI, but you have to pay to get out. We'll find out when we get there. I'm excited, it's a four day, like I said, four days of driving to get there, and then there'll be about four days or so of driving to get home after that. Let's get this freight loaded and let's get on the road. Let's go see some new sites. I've only been to Prince Edward Island once before. So I guess it's not new sites. Let's go see some sites we haven't seen in a while. It's pretty windy out here, but let's show you what we're working with. This is our load. There's three of us. There's actually another one of you guys over there behind that trailer. I don't know them, different companies. This is going all the way to Prince Edward Island. Tires in here, everything is nice and tight. I belly wrapped it three times just to keep all the pipes together. That pallet is in bad shape, but it is secure on there. Another belly wrap here, got all this stuff tied down nice and tight. Another one here. You want to make sure that your straps when you do this, don't touch there because they'll flap around and on a four day trip, you're gonna notice that they're gonna start wearing thin and then they could also snap. You just gotta make sure you got some snap, oh, some uh, room between them. These are pretty close, but they're not touching, see? I had to move them over because they were touching at first. That Kenworth over there to the right, he's going to the same place as me. He's from Alberta. His name's George, I believe. We're probably gonna be playing cat and mouse on the way up there. Got a nice truck. sitting right there, isn't it? Taking my picture, making sure I'm not speeding. No, no, that's a Subaru. No, that's definitely not a cop. <laughs> I see what they did there though. Gets people to slow down. It worked. Not that I was speeding anyways. Made me look at my speedometer anyway. He's from Virginia. He was a groomsman at my wedding. I haven't seen him in years. 
But he's a truck driver as well. He drives a beautiful W900 as well. It just so happens that as I was loading in Lindsay, Nebraska, he was like half an hour south of me getting loaded up in Lincoln, Nebraska, and we're both headed east. So he's just a few miles up ahead of me here, the Flying J. We're gonna meet up, we might be able to run together for a little while. We'll at least get to hang out again. Like I said, it's been years, I'm really excited to see him again. And see his truck in person. He just washed his truck, so Old Blue's gonna look a little dirty beside him. Especially since I messed up my polish. Oh, and I gotta get the truck repolished now. Oh well, live and learn. Learned my lesson. But yeah, we're gonna meet up with him there and catch up a bit. I gotta go in for a shower, so I don't know how long he wants to wait around there, but maybe we'll run together for a little while. We're both gonna be running down I-80. He might take off earlier and maybe we'll run tomorrow, uh, run together tomorrow a little bit, depending on where we're going. I think he's going to Pennsylvania and I'm going up through Michigan into Canada. So I'm hoping to make it to around uh, the I-69 in Michigan today. So around Lansing or Flint, Michigan, somewhere in there. Get to meet up. 
so we don't get to meet up that often because he's from uh, way out in Virginia southern Virginia like way down there so this is sort of where our zones of operation kind of overlap sometimes it's funny because I get out you know Texas and stuff like that a lot more often than I get out to for some reason I get down to Iowa and yeah. Minnesota and stuff I don't seem to get out that way at work seems like when I do yeah. That's who I run into. <laughs> yeah, who we run into. I was telling them, we just happened to be in the same place. He was loading in Lincoln, I was loading in Lindsay, about a half hour apart. up to Gary, Indiana. sit there looking pretty without taking a picture. <laughs> so we didn't quite make it as far as we were kind of hoping to, but I didn't realize how late it was either. So this is the Sap Brothers. Uh, where are we? Peru, Illinois. Lots of space here. We spent too much time chit-chatting. Yeah. And where was that we met up? 
Ah, uh, where did we meet up again? Iowa, somewhere. Iowa, no, it was the first flying J into Iowa. Uh, exit 40. Yeah, I think. Whatever that was. <laughs> the flying J of sorts. Yeah. Anyways, I guess it's time for us to call it a night. Continue on tomorrow. I can barely keep my eyes open. More trucking. We'll go a few more miles together and then we'll, you'll go north and I'll keep going east. Yeah, we'll probably run together to Gary, Indiana, just past Chicago, right? And you're going to keep going east. Yeah, and I'm going to head north. You'll be going up, what is it? 94. 94. Yeah. Until 69 cuts off of there, then I'm going to go up through Sarnia where it's a little quieter. Yeah. And then I got to make it through Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, and then across the bridge into Prince Edward Island. And then back to Quebec and then back home. So, long way to go yet. Three days before I get to my destination. Where are you, where are you headed? Uh, New Jersey. Oh, okay. And uh, then to New York City. Oh, yeah, that's right. In old Manhattan. He's taking this thing to Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. fun. Yeah, fun, fun. That was a lot of fun. Moles is one of my best friends. He was a groomsman at my wedding. Did I tell you that already? So I haven't actually seen him in person in over three years. <laughs> so long overdue. We got to run together for a while all the way down here and uh, for another couple of hours tomorrow, at Gary, Indiana, he's going to continue east. I'm going to head north up into Michigan. But, uh, you know, this trip was already kind of exciting because I was going a little further than usual and to places that I haven't been in a while. But to meet up with him, too, that made it even better. So thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. I hope you hang out with us tomorrow. We're going to start right here and uh, run convoy for a few hours and then keep on heading down the road to Prince Edward Island. So you take care. You be safe. Drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow.